make sure I know, raise your hand if you're playing soprano. Alto. Tenor. Okay, and bass. Everybody else. Um, one change to the way we're going to play this at the very final measure of the page, DC Alfine, um, those notes leading into back into measure one, I'd like that to be played as a solo in the soprano. Um, so, no. Okay. Okay, sure. And so I'll sustain for you, cut everyone else off. You play it kind of as a mini cadenza, and I'll catch you when you get back to the downbeat. Okay? Let's get
Thanks. Yeah, nice job. Yeah. Yes, very expressive baton work there, working the left hand in very fluidly. We could tell, especially in the beginning, seemed pretty engaged where the phrase was going, and you were doing a nice job with that. And your face was opening up very, very, very nice. Nice job. The back half of it, um, starting after the <laughs> fine there, was less, um, it, it seemed less engaged with what was going on at first. Maybe towards the end, you kind of started to go a little more. So let's see if we can um, maybe look. You had some ideas there we were trying to get to happen there, but maybe just you know, a little more engaged with the players there, look directly at them, see if you can get to happen when you want to, and be as expressive as you were in the, in the beginning of this. Let's start the fine. Sure. Just balance, bump that up and other dynamic. It's just, you're at bubble bound. So the fine? Yep. It seemed like that was a little bit, um, you weren't willing them to do that. It was kind of the sound happening, and you're like, ah. Oh. So if you could make it, turn that around, and uh, get them to make the sound you want on that downbeat. Maybe prepare a little bit more, look at them a little sooner, and see if that can happen. But before that, who were you looking at in, in, after the fine there? Looked at them to start, moved over to the melody. Okay. Did the, okay. Did you guys, did the tenor line, did you feel like he was looking at you? Good. Uh, did the soprano line afterward feel like you were looking, he was looking at you? Probably not so much. Okay, let's try it. Again. See if we can get that to happen. Then I'll turn over to Kyle. Subdivision there? I would avoid that, you know, getting that G. I think just nice weight on one. G. You know, that would, will be plenty to get what you want to happen there. A couple quick technical things. Um, in the first on the tape, we go to watch the tape, when you hit the, the middle section, so second system, you went to that tenor voice and you gave them one of these because you want it more. What else, can you, what else do you have in your bag? that you can do other than this to get them to play louder? What are some options that you can do? Honestly, I'm not really sure. The eye contact, I think, helps. I, I definitely agree, eye contact is one. The other thing is maybe it's the static gesture. You know, if they're, if they're not playing the volume, you want one and two and three and just kind of support that sound. Sure. Just get that hand out there. Maybe have the hand kind of grow. Maybe start here, one and two and three, open up and travel a bit through space. So uh, any combination of those is better. I, I tend to or try to avoid this ever or that ever. I mean, there's times where I give them the hand, but it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And why? Ooh, because? Ooh. I mean, that, this, it seems, in my mind, it's a little elementary and a little rude. And also, you don't want to blatantly tell the audience that, that like, oh my god, you're that's far that's that's far too loud or whatever. I mean, like, you, you know, I think you can. Just... Well, and it's not the music either. I mean, is, right. is the music this? What does this mean? You know, I don't know. Right. Or you know, so you just want to avoid those kind of things. <laughs> so when you get there, if that if it's not the sound you want, as opposed to doing that, I would just I would try any combination of those other things. At the very beginning, on the tape, the first time, I have no idea who you were looking at. Again, it kind of went on that thing. You you looked at 
It, what, you weren't looking out there, you were looking at a couple people. But I think at the very beginning, almost everyone needs your contact. So I think when you start, it just needs to be like, are we ready? I love you. <laughs> Bam. And, then, and then you go, and then you go. And then um, I want you to do this the first eight measures. I want you to close the score. I don't want you to look at all. And I demand you through the, once you have everyone's contact at the beginning, you look at someone the entire time. Never close your eyes, never look up. You must look at someone the entire eight measures. All right, and you, just, you can go around the group. It's in three, no big whoop. Go so for it. It doesn't have to be the same person. No, 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 it doesn't. No, you'll freak him out. You freak him out if you look at the same person for eight bars, right? Okay. So just maintain good eye contact. No, no closing your eyes. No looking up at someone the whole time. Here we go. That's fine. Yeah, and you kind of just, you know, I, I think the real important thing is just stay at them. And once you get that eye, once you get that eye contact back, then try to move on to someone else. So it, I think right now you, your, it looks very good. Don't get me wrong, man. But your to go facial expression is to look at someone for a second, and then you kind of look up and look away, and you kind of get in the moment. And I think that's fine to do that. But I encourage you to get used to looking at people more throughout a longer phrase. And the one last thing is in the, at the end, just a technical thing with that fermata, the, the question with the soloist thing is, does the soloist lead, does the conductor lead, or is it a combination of the two? One thing you could try in the last measure, like Dr. Kelly talked about, is one, a two, the release is beat two again, so one, a two, one, a two, three. Uh, D da 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 da. So your fermata is on two. The release is two again. A three. So one, a two, two, a three e and a one. And you can kind of collaborate on that. That would be something to try. All right. Bravo. Good, good, good.